In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for Fe plus HCl. That's iron plus hydrochloric acid. This is a single displacement reaction where the iron displaces the hydrogen. To do the net ionic equation, we first need to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. So the coefficients for this are going to be 2, 6, 2, 3. So that's going to make this a little bit more work, but not too bad. So we have our balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states of each of these components here. So iron, that's a metal. It's going to be a solid. Hydrochloric acid, that's going to be aqueous. And then for these two compounds here, chlorides are very soluble. So we're going to put an AQ. That's going to dissolve in water. We could look this up on a solubility table if we weren't sure. Uh, hydrogen, that's going to be a gas. H2 is a gas. So we have the states. Next, we're going to split the soluble compounds apart into their ions. And that's going to be the complete ionic equation. So the only thing we can split apart are the things that are dissolved, the aqueous compounds. We don't split solids apart. Iron's a single element, so we're not going to split that apart. And we don't split gases apart. So we need to write the ionic charge for each one of these aqueous compounds up here. Hydrogen on the periodic table, that's in group 1. Elements in group one, all of these are one plus. So we'll put a plus up here for the hydrogen. And then chlorine right here, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A, one minus, put a minus here. And then for the iron here, bonded to the chlorine, iron's a transition metal. We don't know its charge, but remember the chlorine we said is minus. So three times the one minus, that's three minus. So this has to be three plus for these charges to balance out. And then hydrogen, we're just going to leave alone because it's a gas. So now we can split things up. We don't split the solid up, that Fe, and we have two of those. So let's put a two here. We have the H plus, that hydrogen ion, H plus. We have six of those. And I won't write aqueous till the end, plus the chloride ion, Cl minus. And this six applies to everything. So we have a six in front of there. So these are the reactants. And for the products, we have Fe3+, plus, and we have two of those, plus the Cl-, minus, and we have three here, and this two out here. So three times two, we have six of those, plus we have hydrogen, H2, and we have three of those. We didn't split that up. That's a gas. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we cross out spectator ions. These are the ions that appear on both sides of the equation. In effect, they're not changing. They're the same. So if you look at the Cl minus here, we also have Cl minus, six of them, in the products. So we have six here, six here. They haven't changed. We can cross them out. But everything else is different. And that gives us the net ionic equation. And we can write it like this. So this is the net ionic equation for Fe plus HCl, iron plus hydrochloric acid. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.